Pagkakaroon na naman ng pagtaas ng COVID-19 cases dito sa Pilipinas. Subalit ayon sa gobyerno, wala raw na ang pagsuyo ko ay multong haplos. Huli na akong lumampi ng libong taon. Papailing ning, paggamit ning, Kinabayo could very well be an articulation of this folk. Then we go farther forward and we'll go to the false ship. At saka ito, syempre, ang ating sword. <laughs> Kasi naman, ano po, kung talaga may sword po dito. Hi there, hi there, what's up? Uh, are you into uh, blade collecting? Um, are you into collecting uh, handmade uh, blades? Okay, are you into Philippine blades? Or are you into Bicol blades? Uh, Bicol region is uh, in southern Luzon of the Philippine Islands. This one is from Camarinesur, region 5. Okay, Camarinesur province. Um, uh, uh, produced by uh, the Minas Bad Shop. Okay. Produced by the blacksmith of the Minas Bad Shop. Uh, now this is uh, a Bicol Wastari uh, designed for Eskrima or Kali. So if you are a practitioner of Filipino martial arts, Kali, Eskrima, maybe this is the blade for you. Or at least something like this. Now uh, from the outside... Uh, we can uh, see that the design is indeed very, very much indigenous and native. Just the look of the pommel or the hilt, you can already see or you can already glean upon the hilt carving. Okay, the hilt carving. Let's help it. Let's help the camera focus. Okay. Uh, kind of a variety of the Bicol Tenegre. This one is uh, antique looking, vintage or antique looking. Um, if you have seen various uh, Bicol antique blades, you must have encountered this type of hilt carving. Um, as we have discussed before, we have so many... Uh, hilt carving designs feel free to check uh, previous videos from this channel check the video of the Bicol Tenegre hilt carving the Kinabayo you know other hilt carvings okay the hilt is 7 inches in length I did not measure anymore the diameter uh, this is a recent build, okay, finished in March of this year, 2021. Um, there is a tang rivet, we call it in the local parlance as barat. And in a previous video, we said that this has um, some kind of a talismanic value as per Bicol culture and there's also you know pinnings bronze pinnings on the eyes in some uh, antique samples there are also pinnings or armor on you know the the, the neck of the entity or particularly the the handle or the, the hilt handle ferul is made of bronze and uh, the guard is also made of bronze the barayo bakurong or uh, scabbard ring or lock is made of bronze as well 
and we have in total four four scabbard rings one two three and four there the carving on the scabbard the usual motif that we see among Bicol blades there is a lecture by Lawrence Lasco on the possible meaning okay the possible meaning of this uh, uh, carvings right let's look at the blade itself the blade is 26 inches 26 inches okay indeed uh, crafted for screamer uh, the spine is quite thin because we wanted this to be light light enough for wielding all right uh, maybe a demo would be proper in some other video or maybe later so here here what else what else well this will be polished further although this is already sharp this is already sharp enough but we will polish this more now let's return the blade okay to its uh, scabbard wooden scabbard there it's our little feature of the Bicol Wastari with bronze handguard. Right, uh, feel free to comment down below if you have any uh, reaction. And feel free to react. Uh, also try to um, maybe like the video or react to the video. Share the video or subscribe to this uh, channel right there jason here for the hagbayon channel and tms talks okay thanks for watching remember the pen is mightier with a sword